Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I hope you're ready because we will start right now. Le corps humain. Donc le vocabulaire concernant le corps humain. Le tube digestif. Le tube digestif. L'articulation. L'articulation. La bouche. La bouche. Le bras. Le bras. La cage thoracique. La cage thoracique. Le cerveau. Le cerveau. Les cheveux. Les cheveux. La cheville. La cheville. La clavicule. La clavicule. Le cœur. Le cœur. La colonne cervicale. La colonne cervicale. La colonne dorsale. La colonne dorsale. La colonne vertébrale. La colonne vertébrale. La côte. La côte. Le cou, le cou, le coude, le coude, le crâne, le crâne, la cuisse, la cuisse, la dent, la dent, le doigt. Le doigt. Le dos. Le dos. L'épaule. L'épaule. L'estomac. L'estomac. Le foie. Le foie. Le front. Le front. Le genou, le genou, l'intestin, l'intestin, la jambe, la jambe, la joue, la joue, la lèvre, la lèvre, la mâchoire. La mâchoire, la main, la main, le membre, le membre, le menton, le menton, le muscle, le muscle, le nerf, le nerf. Le nez, le nez, la nuque, la nuque, l'œil, l'œil, l'ongle, l'ongle, l'oreille, l'oreille, l'orteil, l'orteil. L'os, l'os, la paume de la main, la paume de la main, la phalange, la phalange, le pied, le pied, la plante du pied, la plante du pied, le poignet. 
Le poignet. Le poing. Le poing. Le pouce. Le pouce. Le pouls. Le pouls. Le poumon. Le poumon. Le rein. Le rein. Le sang. Le sang. Le talon. Le talon. La tempe. La tempe. La tête. La tête. Le thorax, le thorax, le tibia, le tibia. Oops, I made a mistake here. It should be masculine. Sorry about that. Le ventre, le ventre, les abrégements de mots. And we'll only focus in this video on les abrégements de mots, but, well, the words that will end with O, or the sound of O, okay? So let's start now. Un adolescent, un adolescent, un adolescent, okay? And then in most of the cases, when people will speak, they will use un ado. Un ado. Okay, so un adolescent will become un ado. Un apéritif, un apéritif will become un apéro. Un apéro. Okay, so un apéritif, un apéro. Une décoration, une décoration, and it will become une déco, une déco. Okay, so, une décoration, une déco. Une démonstration, une démonstration, will become une démo, une démo, une démonstration, une démo. Un dictionnaire. Un dictionnaire will become un dico. Ok? Un dico. So one more time. Un dictionnaire. Un dico. Une exposition. Une exposition will become une expo. Une expo. Un hebdomadaire, so in that case we're talking about the, the magazine. Un hebdomadaire will become un hebdo. Okay? Un hebdo. So one more time. Un hebdomadaire, un hebdo. Un intellectuel, un intellectuel will become un intello. Un intello. Okay, one more time. Un intellectuel. Un intello. Un laboratoire. Un laboratoire will become un labo. Un labo. Personnel. Personnel will become perso. Perso. Ok, one more time. Personnel. Perso. Un professionnel, un professionnel will become un pro, un pro, ok, so un professionnel, un pro. Un propriétaire, un propriétaire will become un proprio, un proprio, ok, so un propriétaire. Un proprio. Un restaurant. Un restaurant will become 
resto. Okay, so you can see that here. You've got another way of writing it. Okay, but then, well, phonetically, it's exa exactly the same. So, un resto. Okay, so whether with O or then with AU, but then it's resto. Resto. The same way. Okay, so, un restaurant. Un resto. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 12, leçon C. Allez, this lesson, we will see les préfixes de verbes. So remember these little letters that you can put at the beginning of existing words, or in that case, it will be verbs. And by adding these little letters, you will modify the, the original meaning of the, the word. And in this lesson, we'll work on le préfixe B. Okay, and you'll see because, well, quite often I've been having some students that uh, ask me, uh, how do you uh, translate in French or is there a way to, to make this un that exists in English? So, like, do, undo, okay? Uh, and then the answer is yes. Uh, actually, we've got this prefix D, okay? So, it will actually uh, be, well, the same. Uh, I mean, the use will be the same as uh, in English, this un, or as well, there is this this uh, for some, some verbs. So, it will be exactly the same, same thing, okay? We've got this D, okay? Keep in mind that we will see in the next lesson, so it will be unit... 12 lesson D. Uh, we've got the option of D uh, accent aigu S, and we will see that so in the next lesson. But in this lesson, we'll only focus on the D. Okay, so let's take an example now. We've got branché, okay, and then D branché. All right, so it's actually quite easy. You just put this D in front of the verb and then branché. Branché. Débranché, centralisé, décentralisé, ok, centralisé, and then it will become décentralisé, chargé, déchargé, ok, so chargé, and then déchargé, coiffé, Décoiffé. Alright, so, coiffé, and then you put this D, and after the verb, décoiffé. Coller. Décoller. Okay, so, coller, and then it will become décoller. Commander. Will become décommander. Okay, so, commander will become décommander. Composer, décomposer. Alright, so, composer will become décomposer. Conseiller will become déconseiller. Alright, so, conseiller, déconseiller. Couvrir will become découvrir. Okay, so, couvrir, découvrir. Faire, will become défaire. Okay, so, faire, défaire. Former, déformer. Alright, so, former, déformer. Placer will become déplacer. Placer, déplacer. Plaire, déplaire. Plaire will become déplaire. Ranger, déranger. Ok, so, ranger. Déranger. And that's it. So keep in mind that, of course, it doesn't apply to all the verbs, because in some cases it's not possible to. 
modify the original verbs, okay? But then, uh, well, this is quite useful because, uh, as you can see, it's not that difficult. And then uh, you could use these uh, verbs quite often. Okay, if you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. And then like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash imagier.net. And you can find a lot of things at the following address, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye. Prefix de verbe. And we'll focus this video on this prefix de uh, accented du S. Okay. So actually I've been having many uh, questions regarding or from students regarding the, the um, translation of this un uh, prefix in English. So like when you get do and undo or uh, this because it could be this as well for uh, some verbs and uh, we saw in the previous lesson that uh, the first prefix that we should use is the okay it was in the lesson so unit 12 lesson c okay um but then this prefix will be used uh, for the verbs that will start with a consonant okay but then we get also verbs starting with a vowel or then the mute h plus a vowel and then in that case we'll have to use the uh, accent aigu s okay so in this video we'll see this the uh, accent aigu s okay and it will be used for so the verb starting with a, a vowel or then h so h and then muet, mute, okay, plus a vowel. So remember that we're not talking about all the verbs starting with ash. And then we'll have also the option of de, e, s. So you can see that you don't have any accent here. And it will be used only for the verbs that will start with the letter s here, okay? So keep in mind, de, e, accent aigu, s will be used for verbs starting with whether in voyelle or h muet, okay, and then de, e, without the accent, s, will be used for the verbs starting with s, okay? So let's see now three examples. The first one, s'abonner, s'abonner, se désabonner, s'abonner, se désabonner. Armé, armé, désarmé, désarmé. Okay, so armé will give you this désarmé. Avantagé, avantagé will give you désavantagé, désavantagé. Équilibré, équilibré will give you déséquilibré, déséquilibré, okay, déséquilibré, sorry, déséquilibré. Espérer, espérer, désespérer, désespérer, okay, espérer, désespérer. Habiller, habiller. Déshabillé, déshabillé. Okay, so you can see that here, this H here, this letter is not pronounced. So, habillé and then déshabillé. Intéressé, intéressé, désintéressé, désintéressé. Obéir, obéir. Désobéir, désobéir. Organiser, organiser. Désorganiser, désorganiser. We'll start a series of videos that will uh, cover the um, subject, les préfixes et les verbes. And this, in this video, we will see actually the verb dire. We get the translation here in English. So, dire, 
okay and then we'll see that it's possible to add some uh, prefixes so it's possible to add some letters before this d and then by adding these letters we will modify the meaning of d okay so let's see and the first thing that we've got here is contre and then dire okay contredire contredire and you can see that of course the meaning is changing contredire okay then interdire interdire prédire prédire redire Redire les préfixes et les verbes. So, uh, this video will only focus on the verb mener. Okay, this is the meaning of mener. Okay, and we'll see that by adding few letters in front of mener, we'll, we will actually change the meaning of this verb. So, the original meaning of this verb. And this is right here, the original meaning. Okay, so let's see now. The first one is amener. Amener. Okay, and you can see here the translation. Then, emmener, emmener, okay, same thing here. Ramener, ramener. Surmener, surmener. And then you've got a translation right here. Les préfixes et les verbes. And in this video, we'll see the verb lever. Okay, so this is the translation in English of lever. And then we'll see that by adding few letters in front of lever, we'll actually change the meaning of this verb. Okay, so, and the first one would be enlever. Enlever. Relever. Relever. Soulever, soulever. Les préfixes et les verbes, and we'll see in this video the verb mettre. Okay, so that's the translation of mettre. Okay, mettre. And so we'll see that uh, when we add few letters in front of mettre, well, uh, in this case, actually, it will change the meaning, the original meaning of this verb. Okay, so the first one will be add. Admettre, okay, so admettre, and this is the translation in English, admettre, then we'll have commettre, commettre, then émettre, émettre, and we've got a translation here, permettre, Permettre. Promettre. Promettre. Remettre. Remettre. Soumettre. Soumettre. Transmettre, transmettre. And you've got a translation here. Les préfixes et les verbes. And in this video, we'll concentrate on the verb paraître. So this is the meaning of paraître. And the idea is that, of course, when we're talking about les préfixes, we will add few letters in front of paraître. And by adding these, le these letters, we'll change the meaning of the verb okay so let's see the first one will be apparaître apparaître and you've got here the translation in english disparaître disparaître reparaître reparaître You get a translation right here. Les préfixes et les verbes, okay? So, and in this video, we'll concentrate on the verb passer. And here you have 
a translation in English. Okay, so the idea is that uh, we've got this verb passé and then it will be possible to add some letters. So that's what we call prefix in front of passé. And by adding these letters, well, we'll change the meaning, the original meaning of the verb passé. Okay, so let's see how it goes. So the first thing, if we add this B, okay, we will get the, the verb dépassé. Dépassé. And here you have the meaning in English. Okay, well then we could add this R in front of passé, so we get this repassé, and then here is the meaning in English, repassé, okay, and it's also possible to add sur, okay, surpassé, surpassé, and here is the meaning in English, les préfixes et les verbes, okay, and in this video we'll focus on the verb and that's how it could be translated. Okay, so the idea is that we will add some letters before and then by add, adding these letters, uh, the meaning, the original meaning of the verb will be modified. Okay, so let's see now. The first one, so if you add this AP, AP, you will get apporter, apporter. Okay, that's actually a translation of this verb. Apporter, okay? Then we can add O, sorry, C-O-M. So, comporter, 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 okay? And that's the translation here. Or it could be se comporter, okay? Se comporter. And you have here the meaning of this verb. And it's possible to add E-M. So you will get the en, emporté, okay, emporté, and here is the translation, ex, uh, x, exporté, exporté, well this one is actually quite easy to translate, okay, exporté, then it's possible to use this em in front, so un, importé, importé, Okay, you can hear the translations. Then it's possible to use this RAP, so RAP, rapporté, rapporté. And also it's possible to use this REM, ran, remporté. Okay, remporté, remporté. You can also add this SUP in front of porté, SUP, supporté, supporté. We don't really pronounce the two or the double P here. Supporté. And then it's possible to use this or to add this T R A N S, trans, transporté, transporté, transporté. You can also use this RAP, RAP, RAPPORTE, RAPPORTE, so same thing here, you don't pronounce the double P, RAPPORTE. Les préfixes et les verbes, and in that video, we'll actually have POSÉ. And so you get the translations here. Okay, of poser. And so remember that, uh, well, the idea is that we will add letters in front of poser. So that's what we call prefix. And by adding these prefix, we will modify the meaning or the original meaning of the verb poser. Okay, so let's see now what we've got. So it's possible to add this c-o-m prefix, con, composé. Okay. Composé, all right, and you get here the translations of this verb. Composé. It's also possible to add the prefix D, uh, accent aigu, D, D, and you get déposé, all right, déposé. And here you can find what it means in English, okay, déposé. It's also possible to add the P 
préfixe e n t r e entre entre un guet entreposé 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 okay and here is the meaning that it's possible to add this p r o pro proposé okay proposé Well, then you can also add this R, E, R, reposer, reposer, reposer. Okay, and here you get the translation. It's also possible to have, when we're talking about this reposer, well, this se reposer, se reposer, se reposer. les préfixes et les verbes. And in this video, we'll actually focus on the verb prendre. Here is, or here are the translations possible for prendre, okay? And the idea is that, of course, we're talking about préfixes, so these letters that you can add before the verb, and by adding this le these letters, you will modify the original meaning of the verb. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. The first one, A, P, so ap, you will get apprendre, apprendre, okay, you don't pronounce the double P, apprendre, so here is what it means, okay, apprendre. Then it's possible to put the C-O-M in front of prendre, and you will get comprendre, comprendre, okay, comprendre. It's also possible to use this E N T R E entre, entreprendre, entreprendre, entreprendre. It's also possible to use this R E re, reprendre, reprendre, reprendre. Okay, get the translation here. S U R sur sur surprendre okay surprendre and here is what it means okay surprendre les préfixes et les verbes and in this lesson we'll concentrate on the verb tenir and here is how you could translate this verb in english okay so the idea is that it will be possible to add what we call prefix, so actually letters before this verb, and by adding these letters, you will modify the meaning, the original meaning of this verb. Okay, so let's see now a few examples. So, the first one that we have, if you add the letters C, O, N, CON, you will get CONTENIR, 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 okay, and that's how it could be translated. Then it's possible to add this E, N, T, R, E, entre, and you will get entretenir, entretenir, entretenir. And here is the meaning. Okay, then it's also possible to add this M, A, I, N, M, maintenir, maintenir. Okay. And that's how you should, or you could translate it. It's also possible to use this R, E, prefix, re, retenir, retenir, and that's what it means. And also, S, O, U, sous, soutenir, soutenir, okay, soutenir. Les préfixes et les verbes. And the last verb that we will, so to, we will see together is venir. Okay, so you get the translation here. Okay, so venir. And then when we talk about les préfixes, well, we will talk about letters that we will add in front of venir. And by adding these letters, we'll change the meaning or the original meaning of this verb. Okay, so let's see how it will go. The first thing that we could add would be C-O-N, con, and then we would get convenir. 
convenir, ok? And here you will see for each verb the translation in English, ok? Convenir. We also have the possibility to add to add D and E, de, devenir, ok? Devenir. It's also possible to add this I N T E R inter inter intervenir 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 and then we can also add P R E accent aigu pré prévenir Prévenir, prévenir, ok? We can add also this R, E, RE, REVENIR, REVENIR, REVENIR. And so it's possible to add this S, O, U, SOU, ok? And the verb is réflexif, réfléchi, sorry, se souvenir, se souvenir, se souvenir. It's also possible to add this S-U-B, sub, sub, subvenir, subvenir, subvenir. And the last one, S-U-R, sur, survenir, survenir, survenir. Identical words in English and in French and we'll concentrate on the words that ends with A-G-E in English. And the first thing that, well, we should uh, definitely keep in mind is that uh, they will be, they will be the same, but if they exist in French, because it's not uh, the case all the time, okay? So, we've got few exceptions, we will have few modifications uh, possible in French, of course, and uh, the thing that you should keep in mind, that in most of the cases, but not all the cases, we'll see that in this video, uh, they will be masculine in French, okay? So, that's one easy thing to remember, of course exceptions, but if you're not sure, then put the masculine form in most of the cases, that will be the correct form, okay? So let's see them now. Un avantage. Un âge. Un arbitrage. Un assemblage. Un bagage. Un bandage, un barrage, un blocage, un brassage, un bricolage, une cage. So this is one of the exceptions, it's uh, feminine. Un camouflage, un carnage. Un cartilage, un chantage, un collage, un concubinage, un cordage, un corsage, un courage, un cousinage, un découpage, un dressage. Un entourage, un équipage, un espionnage, un forage, un fuselage, un gage, un garage, un héritage, une image, keep in mind, feminine, un langage. Un lavage, un maquillage, 
un mariage, un massage, un ménage, un message, une page, feminine as well, un passage, un pelage, une plage, feminine, une rage, feminine as well, un ravage. Un remariage, un rivage, un sabotage, un usage, un visage. The almost identical words in English and in French, and we're talking about the words that will end in English with EC, like that. And in French, that's the reason why they are almost identical. They will end with E, Q, U, E. Phonetically, it will be exactly the same. So, ik, ik. Okay, but then we write it like that. Keep in mind that the first rule uh, is that it must, of course, exist in French. And it's not all the time the case. And then in some cases, we will have few exceptions or modifications uh, possible. Okay, so let's start. Académique. Acoustique, acrobatique, angélique, aérodynamique, aéronautique, allergique, analogique, anarchique, antinomique, athlétique, antiseptique, arctique. Argotique, aristocratique, arithmétique, aromatique, artistique, asthmatique, astronomique, athlétique, atmosphérique, atomique, atypique, automatique, basique. Bureaucratique, catholique, céramique, chaotique, caractéristique, charismatique, civique, classique, climatique, clinique, comique, cosmétique, cosmique, cubique. Démagogique, démocratique, démographique, dermatologique, désertique, diabolique, diagnostique, diamétrique, didactique, dramatique, dramaturgique, dynamique, dynastique. Écologique, économique, égocentrique, électrique, électronique, emblématique, empirique, encyclopédique, énigmatique, épidémique, épisodique, esthétique, éthique. Ethnique, euphorique, évangélique, exotique, fabrique, fanatique, fantastique, fatidique, folklorique, frénétique, gastronomique, générique, génétique, géographique. Almost identical words in English and in French. And we are talking about the words in English that will end with EC, like that. And in French, that's the reason why I said it was almost, because it's not uh, totally identical, because we've got, uh, in French, it will be with E, Q, U, E. Phonetically, it's the same. Ik, ik, okay, but we will write it like that. The first thing you should keep in mind is that, of course, the word 
must exist in French and it's not uh, the case all the time and then of course we will have few exceptions or modifications uh, possible you will see that when I will read the words okay so let's start now géologique géométrique gothique graphique gymnastique héroïque hiérarchique historique, homéopathique, humoristique, hydraulique, hygiénique, hypnotique, idéologique, idiomatique, idyllique, illogique, inorganique, ironique, italique, journalistique, juridique, Lactique, linguistique, lithographique, logique, logistique, lyrique, magique, magnétique, magnifique, maléfique, mathématique, mécanique, mélodique, méthodique, mimique. Minéralogique, musique, narcotique, neurologique, nordique, nostalgique, numérique, océanique, océanographique, oligarchique, ophtalmologique, optique, organique, orthopédique. Panique, parodique, pédagogique, pédiatrique, philharmonique, philosophique, phonétique, photogénique, photographique, physique, plastique, platonique, poétique, polémique, politique. Pragmatique, problématique, prolifique, psychiatrique, psychologique, public, pudique, république, romantique, rubrique, scientifique, sociologique, statistique, symbolique. Tactique, technique, technologique, téléphonique, thermique, touristique, toxique, toxicologique, tragique, tropique, typique, véridique, vocalique, volcanique, volcanologique. Zoologique, zygomatique. Uh, identical words in English and in French, sorry, I was somewhere else. And uh, we'll talk in this lesson about uh, the words ending in English with A, D, E, okay? And of course, the first thing that we get to keep in mind is, well, the word must exist in French, which is not the case for all the words ending with A, okay? So that's the first thing. But then if they do exist, well, the meaning will be same um, keep also in mind that we've got of course few exceptions or few modifications possible and in most of the cases but not all the cases we'll see that there will be feminine okay so we can start right now Oops. une accolade une arcade une balade une balustrade, une barricade, une brigade, une cascade, une charade, une chiffonnade, une escalade, une escapade, une esplanade, une façade, 
une fusillade, une grenade, une grillade, une noyade, une orangeade, une palissade, une parade, une passade, un plantigrade, we've got an exception here, une promenade, un or une rétrograde, une sérénade, un stade, exception, une tirade, une torsade. Identical words in English and in French, and especially the words that will end with ud uh, in English, well, actually, they will be written the same way in French, and the meaning will be the same, but the first rule that we get to keep in mind is that well the world the word must exist in french and it's not the case for all the u the uh, words in english okay uh and then the other thing well few exceptions of course or modifications possible we're talking about accents or about modification of letters not that big but still uh they can they can occur and then the second thing is that in most of the cases but not all the cases we'll see that they will be feminine okay so let's see them now une altitude une amplitude une aptitude une attitude une béatitude une certitude une décrépitude, une étude, une exactitude, une gratitude, une habitude, une inaptitude, une incertitude, une inexactitude, une ingratitude, une inquiétude, un interlude, so exception here. Une lassitude, une latitude, une longitude, une multitude, une platitude, une plénitude, un prélude, second exception, une promptitude, une quiétude, une rectitude, rude, une servitude. Une solitude, identical words in English and in French, and we're talking about the words ending with U, R, E. So the good news is that uh, they will be exactly the same, or almost, as usual when we're talking about French language. But the first thing that we've got to keep in mind is that, of course, uh, the word must exist in French. Uh, it's not the case for all the words uh, in English ending with U, R, E, okay? And then, of course, keep in mind that we'll have few exceptions or modifications possible. We're talking about accents and uh, different letters that could change, okay? Then let's see how it goes. Une agriculture. Une allure. Une apiculture. Une aquaculture, une arboriculture, une architecture, une armature, une armure, une aviculture, une bordure, une brochure, une candidature, une capture. Une caricature, une ceinture, une censure, une chaussure, une chevelure, une clôture, une coiffure, une confiture, une couture, une créature, une culture, une cure. Une doublure, une facture, une figure, une fracture, une injure, une lecture, une manufacture, mature, une miniature, 
une nature. Un or une pédicure. Une posture. Une procédure. Pure. Une rupture. Une sculpture. Une sépulture. Une signature. Une structure. Une température. Une texture. Une torture. Une viniculture. Une viticulture.